all right today we want to look at how we can answer these questions under the topic sequence and series but these questions falls under what we call arithmetical progression in sequence and series let's see how we can answer question number one from question number one we have been told that the difference between the a term now in mathematics difference means subtraction so it means that a term minus fourth term should be equal to 40. now we are going to break our a term and the fourth term so that we can have our common difference and the first term therefore we use the general formula in arithmetical progression in doing that so this formula has to be known by student so our a term is going to be a plus where the n represents the eight so we put 8 minus 1 multiplying d so our a term is going to be a plus 7d nicely we use the same formula to break the fourth term and we are going to have a plus 3d so now the a term minus the fourth term will be 40 so we have that is a plus 7d minus a plus 3d should be equal to 40 all right then we can simplify this as a plus 7d minus a minus 3d equal to 40 here all right and a minus a will give us zero 7d minus 3d will give us 4d equal to 40 divide here by 4 here by 4 and our d which is the common difference is going to be 10. all right let us proceed in the question they said if the a term all right so our a term is one whole number one over two multiplying the fourth term so this is how we can write it mathematically now our a term we know that is going to be a plus 7d all right should be equal to we change this mixed fraction to improper fraction so 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So this will give us 3 over 2. Multiplying the fourth term, which will be a plus 3d. Nicely. Now we can find LCM or do cross multiplication. So these two will come and multiply this. Alright? Which will give us 2a plus 14d. Equal to 3 here, multiplying a plus 3d. Alright? so we simplify this as this this by that will give us 3a plus 9d we group all the a at one side all right so we send this to this side we maintain this 9d we send the 14 so minus 14d nicely so this will give us minus a equal to minus 5d we divide through by minus 1 we are going to have 5d here all right so our a is going to be 5 multiplying 10 all right and our a is going to be 50. so this is how we can get the first term and the common difference now one thing about question number two is that we are going to use the sum formula to break the tenth term down so all the students must know this formula in arithmetical progression all right so this is what we are going to use to break the sum of the first 10 terms down then you equate it toward 120 but the rest follow the same process so try it put your answer in the comment section and i hope you enjoy it thank you